Hello, um, I'm going to show you how to make a lucid cord using crochet. Um, here's an example of a lucid cord. Um, what I like about it is that it's it's like a four-sided chain really when you look at it up close. Um, you can get a special um, tool for making a lucid but you can also just make it with a crochet hook. So I've got a double strand of double knitting which I've tied at one end. I've just wound off a separate ball from the main skein. I've got a 3.5mm hook and I'm just going to show you how to start off the lucid cord. So, if you put the tail end of the yarn to the left and the working yarn to the right and make a kind of arch like this. And then you need to fold the top of the arch over to get this shape. And then you're going to insert the hook down through the middle of the first loop on the right and up through the middle of the loop on the left and then pull everything tight. So you've got your two loops on there and then you move your working yarn over to the left and this is, you're basically chaining you're going to be chaining each one of these but with just a slight difference so you're going to chain the first loop Oops. and then you're going to take that off the hook and just kind of hold it in place, pinch it in place with your thumb so you don't accidentally unravel it then you're going to chain the second loop put the first one back on the hook and chain that and keep repeating that first loop off and pinch, chain the second loop, first loop put back on the hook, chain it, take it off, chain the second loop, just keep repeating that process. It's a bit more tricky when you're using double thickness of yarn. But even so, you can get quite a nice rhythm going. And don't worry if it all seems a bit uneven and a bit lumpy. It might take you a few attempts, but even so, even, even now, you know, I've started off a bit shaky really, because I'm trying to do it whilst filming but you can remedy that. So what you can do is pull, twist and massage the cord and it really evens out all the stitches. So once you've got, once you've got the desired number of stitches, it's pretty easy to fasten off. You basically just put the, get to the point where you're just about to work the left loop and then you pull the yarn all the way through and then cut the yarn and pull that end tail all the way through and then that pretty much matches the start. Um, I've got another one here in a different different colour. They're just really handy, a handy cord that's also really attractive if you want a more substantial cord than just a than just a chain. And as I said you can do it with a hook you don't need an actual lucid tool.